Okay, we are back into some more banishers, and I think today we're going to investigate the village. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. Yeah, if the and nightmare is at do what he here, said. They'll need us. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I guess let's look at the map. That's not the map. All right, we got something going on here. We got a question mark here. Point of interest. That's right. So we got two hauntings. What's this? Oh, the shop. Do we want to go to a shop? We got two shop. All right. Let's shut. Stop. Let's go here. So we can do the haunting and check out the shop. So that's what I think we'll do today. Um, probably have a lot of conversations and wandering around the village. Either I'll record it, so that way if something cool happens, it'll be available. The forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Oh yeah, the forge. But I don't want you guys to watch a bunch of boring stuff of me just roaming around. You know what I mean? I want to try to keep you guys interested. Where's this? Oh. Tell me. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I don't want to start. Oh, well. Ain't you a sight. Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am. The Banisher. The Banisher. I all the pleasure. Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent. And I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. Uh, let's, let's see this first. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right. Let's. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, oh, no. Uh, equipment. So we don't have one of those. Which would help us. I wonder if you can compare. That's a level 2 banisher T. That's 800. How much do I have? I, I only got 381. All right, we'll buy the brooch because we don't have one. Uh, yeah. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? Oh God. Uh, how's life in camp? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, oh, yeah, about thick skin. What think you of thick skin, new Smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? Um, I don't know. What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. I don't know about sensible. When she speaks, I listen. She left me hanging in a tree. Uh, yeah. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you and for your husband too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. No. Oh. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him and he feels the weight of it. Uh, oh, did you fight? Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. 
Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. Um, I'm just going to say that if you live in this time and age, if you're not some type of woodsman, you know, you're probably effed. You, you should probably know how to be something. Alright, let's go purr through this lady's house. We got some weird... Baby, what do you see? I have a feeling about the bed. I bet you Memories do. Memories from the past linger nearby. Um, Alright, so we got that. What's here? 19... Or 6... Jesus, 19... 1694, April 4th. I have found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sinned at times but wishes no harm on anyone. He speaks to me with respect and I to him likewise. He listens to me with interest and I to him the same. Above all, he is kind. This, I think, is the greatest of things a man can be. We know our men by their wealth and by their conquests. When really we should know them by their kindness. I shall cherish this page as it marks the moment I saw life on more favorable terms. Nellie Heaton's journal. Interesting. Oh, oh. Uh, Governor Haskell's letter to Fortune Heaton. 2nd March. In the year of our Lord, 1694, from the pen of the most honorable Fairfax H. Haskell, governor of the colonies of New Eden, round, roundabouts to Master Fortune Heaton, Heaton's Forge, or, or Smithy, Brace. Marks London. Letter of appointment. My dear, most fortunate Mr. Heaton. Further to our most recent, uh, our most recent urgent correspondence, I refer to your last letter dated 14th December, in which you confirm your desires to join the colony of New Eden, where for to practice the trade of blacksmithing. Uh, as you know, in London and Boston, and a blacksmith of some renown and indeed in fruition of impeccable faith, I have the pleasure of confirming that a place awaits you here. We shall provide you with a small holding in which to establish your business, and while we shall endeavor to provide you with whatever materials you should require, pray bring whichever tools you may need, as they can be scarce here at times. Please reply immediately, at least within a month, in book pa passage, and at least convenience. I have enclosed a stipend which for which to pay the fare with fields to plow and horses to shoe. We are in urgent need of your service we shall expect you before winter. To whom all should be considered herewith, within it be known the fortune Heaton has been contracted to the colony of New Eden as a new blacksmith. Yours most sincerely, Gunner of H. of Haskell. <laughs> that was a lot. Anything else up in her? Oh, we got some bread. Leather, I mean. Didn't look like leather. And... Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Ah! Uh, Arcanine? I raise for now the Veil of Shadows. didn't do it. No. Not yours. Or is that the... I think he was going to kill That's her. That's no ghost threatening Nelly. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. Take their shit. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Not a very good blacksmith. No blacksmith and no tools. Could he have taken them with him?
That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. He found something. Oh, we already like it. Nope. Drill bit as dull as a hammer. Shit. Uh, how many haunting cases? Here we go. We only got one clue. We got three ghosts. There we go. Oh, we got some. We got some right here. Some nails. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. <laughs> Pascal chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Uh, he and our houses are falling down and we need them nails to build with. Deliver as soon as, if you will, no shite like the last, like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. Sick burn. Mm. Oh, what do we got? Footsteps? Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Reveal. What's it? Uh, Re Revelio. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. There you go this way. Yep, went this way. A smitty. What's in here? I thought he was no woodsman. Well, think of the blacksmith and his wife. Uh, a ghost haunts. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but who's? Who is the actual blacksmith? Maybe he's not the real blacksmith. There's a fish. Gotta grab stuff to level up, you know. What are you doing here? That's called a ghost beat down. Okay. That's interesting. What is this? I saw some right here. Oh, it's just a tree stump. I thought it was like a dead person.
Damn it. Parrying like shit. I'm right here, you know. In my last agony. That was fast. I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. What? Safe. Uh, are they are they gone? Is that the blacksmith? Oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? Uh... So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like, then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, Lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you praying. Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're haunted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them as deep in the woods as I can go. Uh, the forge remain. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No. I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. Yeah. Uh. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is uh, a fine woman. Clever, brave, generous, and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just uh, met. Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. We bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stayed together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. I heard you praying. 
thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. Something's fishy here. Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, tell us where you, where you buried him? Let's see. Where do we get here? We got... Uh, the back of those friendly and carriers and stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I think this is the husband. I think they killed him. That's what I think. All right, going in here. I sense the ripple of a past conversation. I sense that too. That's what we needed. Relio. The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the tool box. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Maybe it's out back. You follow the footsteps. Maybe follow footsteps. What the hell? Oh, we gotta inspect them. Hmm. I would have figured it'd have been up. Let's grab some fungus. Whatever that is. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger to Nelly. Yeah, 100%. Not the blacksmith. And the greens. Something spectral nearby. Roll out. One less to worry about. I feel something close. Let's 
stupid dogs. You see something? Oh, you got it right here. Who is this? You see anything? So, f what's up there, I wonder? A lot of places to go wandering. Right, we're on a mission. Gotta stay on mission. What's over here? Another swirly, jumpy thing. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Where in the hell did he take these tools? The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. No, to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We'll, 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 we need to look for somewhere to cross. We'll use our rope. No? Let's tie a rope. Go down. Some bitch. Guess we'll go up to go down. Piece of cake. Oh, what's over here? Thirty-seven. Oh, that's something there. That's blocking. Jump it. Good job. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap. Oh, there's no trap. Leather. Right. What the hell? Watch out. Spectre possession. Have some of this. Don't 
Damn it, we missed. Stop possessing shit. Some bastards. Think I'm only gonna see you. Come on. Oh shit. No. Uh, there's that. Give me this. Give me that. Give me this. Another way up. Eyeball itched. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. Oh, she smacked up. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh, she killed him. I knew it. What do you want to do? A worn blacksmith flatter what? And shrouded with spectral stains, the tie is doused with the essence of his ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, the essence will be automatically consumed by Cynthia to make her stronger. A lot of birds killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. We should. Two for her. Two. All right. All right. Reveal. Revealio. Show yourself and join me now. What are you doing all the way the fuck over here? <laughs> we are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. You're talking to the dead Who right are now. You and what do you want with the blacksmith? Mm, my forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Well, duh. That night... On deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. Yeah. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Erin. Oh. 
Watch it. Brad, come on. She could be a whore. This template. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? A little bit, probably. I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. I think back then they were kind of a little bit. She was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. Okay, goodbye. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. We got all his. All there. We're still missing two of hers. Interesting. Uh. Murder is murder. But murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. I'm concerned for their safety. What is that? What is that? No can't. How do we get that? Some bitch. No, oh, we got a ring? Is that? Uh, bandage damage 220, bandage points gain 6, strength 5, 5, 200, 5, 5, vitality 10. This one, 200, 5, 5, 226. This one doesn't have, red is increased by up to 40% to lower the spirit gauge. Upgrade available. This one just doesn't have. So wisdom's down. Howdy's down. Resistance goes down. Health. Oh, health. We don't want health to go down. All right, maybe we'll upgrade that and then we'll look. See if it's better. No. Maybe after an upgrade it'll be better. Up here. We need to go this way. So many places to go. Shelter. If there's a shelter nearby. By reaching it, you, you may travel towards another shelter. Oh, okay. Is this the high cave shelter? This is an optional thing. I need to stop at some point. Here would be all right. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Treasure! Yeah. Wait! Interesting. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. 
Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. mission. Where am I going? Let's travel. Yes. Alright. Back to the blacksmith. I got some questions for you. I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have said something. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Hush. Someone's coming. Vanisha, you're back. Fancy seeing you two here in your house. Mr. McRae. My man came back, and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. Oh, Lord. What do we got? When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. How did you, meet? Did you two meet? Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. He doesn't remember crossing, shit. Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. It's right here. Uh. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. Uh -huh. But a good man, a repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it.
Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. Mm. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Uh, you were charged to the settler with a blame ritual. This decision will contribute to Antia's resurrection. And his resurrection ritual will only work if the largest number of settlers are sa sacrificed. Uh, yeah. Blaming you! Nelly Heaton, you murdered your husband to find freedom. But instead, unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. There you go, baby. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! What? My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight, murderer! Ah! Finish that one. Ouch! What are you gonna do about it? Ellie. Oh, Ellie. <laughs> hey, bitch. Lucky I didn't banish you. Alright, let's go. Think she's up here? Let me rob you. Hold on. What's this? Oh, another one? That's good. But So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I have no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until She's already met us. You may stay. Hmm. Yeah, don't care about the word around here. Leave. <laughs> I do. That bitch. Whoop. I knew I saw something. Beep. Mine.
All right. I think we'll end this episode here. We knocked out a haunting. And next episode, maybe we'll do the other haunting. Um, but we'll see what happens after that. May and maybe into the, the main story again. So, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll check you out. Peace.